All right, first up today, have you seen or heard all the buzz about bone broth? Today, we're finding out how to make it and why it's so good for you. Yeah, certified holistic health practitioner and nutritionist Maria Vial is here to help us cook up a big batch of bone broth. Are you wearing heels today? You're not. I'm not. No. Nope. Oh, okay, I'm just checking. Just I usually wear higher heels. So I was at, my heels. I was at a book signing last night. So I was like, "You look taller on TV." I was like, "How? Do, yeah." And you're tall. Was interesting. Yeah, I know. Great to see you. It was funny because we were talking about bone broth, and there is a lot of information mm -hmm. out there about it these days. Tiff was like, "What do you put water and you stick a bone in it?" That's what it is. <laughs> that's that's it. That's done. It. It's gotta have the marrow. Yeah. It's gotta you know cook it off. But what's the point of bone broth? It's good for us, right? Yeah, it's chock full of minerals, and so this is much different than what you're gonna find. At the store mm -hmm. in like the Tetra Pack or the cans, because it's healthy. It's you're using good bones and you're actually simmering it for 12 to 24 hours to help mm -hmm. leach out the minerals. So you have calcium, magnesium, um, potassium. You also have um, chondroitin sulfate, glucosamine, which are in a lot of bone health supplements that people purchase, but you can get it right in a nice tasty cup of bone broth. Okay, so it, it, the bone marrow's gotta be inside that bone. Mm -hmm. You can usually get them from the butcher, mm -hmm. but what are the health benefits? Why is it so valuable to drink and eat and have bone broth? Well, it's been used traditionally for centuries. This isn't anything new, and so I love the fact that it's being re-implemented in kind of these health mm -hmm. trends. Um, it's really healing to the body. It's been used for things like leaky gut to help improve digestion. Um, a lot of times when people are sick, we hear, you know, chicken soup. Mm -hmm. That is kind of the backbone, no pun intended, ah of this. Uh, <laughs> is that it is very healing. It helps with the immune system, really great with um, anything like bones, hair, mm -hmm. nails, healthy bones. Um, actually, Kobe Bryant touts drinking bone broth after a, a tough workout or hmm. a game. Really? Because Good for it's so full of mineral. Great for autoimmune, great for any kind of um, condition that compromises your absorption of minerals, but it's okay. also great for just everyone, kids to the elderly. It's mm -hmm. Well, and people can go to the store, and I, I've noticed, because I've you know taken a closer look at, especially broths that don't contain sugar, but mm -hmm. there, you can go to the store and see organic broth, mm -hmm. or you know labels that look mm -hmm. really appealing and like they'd be really healthy. What is the difference between something you might buy at the store versus doing something like this at home? The two big things is one, the cooking time. They're gonna mm -hmm. use much faster cooking techniques so you're not actually getting the minerals um, extracted from the bones. The second is that they have to cook it under really high temperatures to make it um, shelf, um, stay on the shelf in a Tetra Pak or a can. So, you know, bone broth in your refrigerator will probably last about five days. You can keep it in the freezer for a longer period of time, but that's the difference. It's void of the minerals, it's void of the nutrients, it's void of the amino acids that are present in bone broth. So sometimes a really good bone broth for, for a lot of people who already, who, who do make broths on their own and things like that, they, they're they not extremely flavorful. I mean, if mm -hmm. you can get a really great bone and sometimes you don't mm -hmm. in terms of flavor. So if you add like a bouillon or something like that, does it defeat the purpose of the bone broth? It doesn't necessarily defeat it. Again, it's all about the the time, the 12 to 24 hour okay. simmering. Um, as far as flavor, I always encourage people to add things in the process so it's not just bone and water. And like what, what you do. So, you know, you can do pretty much like how you'd make most of your soups. I like to put onion, celery, carrots, mm -hmm. and, and put that in with the bone. And then also some of the, the herbs that are really gonna bring out the flavor. Now you can use, and I can tell people- Can we taste people, it? Yeah, of course. Okay. There's some right over there. Okay. okay. I tell people oh, you can warm. either nice. use soup bones, broth. so go to a really good butcher and, and ask for soup bones, ones with the marrow, or you oh, could take good. like a rotisserie chicken. You could cook this, clean off the chicken, and then use like the carcass. Like people do this with Thanksgiving mm -hmm. turkeys. You take take it the carcass and then use that for it too. So it doesn't have to be like bone marrow soup bones. It can okay. be it can be a chicken as chicken well. Chicken bone. Yeah. Okay, so what is all in this? This is delicious. Okay, oh. so what you do. See, yeah. it doesn't have to be flavorless. Whoa. More than water and water. That is water good. Mm -hmm. You want to put like the bones in a crock pot. You can use a stock pot, but I like using the crock pot because you don't have to sit there and watch it. Okay. Then you put a, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Oh, and the reason you put that is that. because when you let this sit with water for about 10 minutes, it helps pull and extract some of the minerals from the bone. No so it helps way. kind of break it down okay. ahead of time. That's cool. So let that sit for a bit. And then, like I said, just roughly chop. Again, this isn't science as far as measurements. Mm -hmm. um, I like put onions, carrots, celery to okay. cut it in. So you just honestly just dump it all in. Yep. Man, that's easy. Okay. You can put parsley unchopped 
Just oh, toss that in. Yep. Toss it in. Um, you can use thyme, rosemary, bay leaves, kind of depending on your flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Toss that in. You want to cover it all with water. Put some sea salt and peppercorns in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I tasted the pepper in here. Yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. good. You can't really over season this, I find. <laughs> cover it. Bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, turn it down and simmer it. For chicken, about 12 hours at least. For bone and bison, you want to. You're looking more like 24 hours. And then you strain everything out. Mm -hmm. Let it cool off, and then you want to store it in the fridge. Like I said, for five days or freezer. So for this longer. one that you made didn't have any meat or any bouillon or anything in it. Nothing. Such a great flavor. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Huh. Is this better for you if you have a cold and chicken noodle soup? Well, again, depending mm -hmm. on the chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But yeah, it would be. And again, like I said, you could drink this like you would tea. Have one to two cups. Mm -hmm. It helps improve digestion. So having it before it a meal would you. be great. Great for hydration, too. Love um, it. One thing I will say that makes it easy. Some people are like, well, I don't want to store a big jar in the freezer. How will I use it? Put it in ice cube trays. Pop it in the freezer. And then now you have individual little cubes oh, yeah. that you can either toss in a sauce or a recipe or just pop in a saucepan to heat up for a cup of Perfect. Bone broth. Thanks, you are Maria. so smart. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to come here all the time. You guys make me feel so good. <laughs> I'm always talking about your skin, your hair, and it's just so modest. It's it so works. cute. You need a confidence it's Maria boost. Maria on the com. That's where you can learn more. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the basic bone broth I recipe do. on your website, yep, right? Absolutely. So and ours, too. Great. Great. Is that right, Paul? All yes. right. Thanks, Maria. Thanks for having Go me. Go to her website um, for more good tips like that and ours, too, for the recipe. That was fantastic. Thank you. And it's delicious.